Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, and you must be thinking, what the hell? Why do you have a picture of a blue Yeti Pro and a blue Yeti beside your AT 2020? Because I'm going to talk about why you should be choosing one type over the other. Um, and straight up from the beginning, I'm going to say that this is not a sound test. Okay, I'm, I, because I don't own any of these mics, and I'm not going to say which one sounds better than the other. Okay, I'm going to post, I'm going to most likely going to put maybe one or two videos that I've used personally to uh, decide which one I should get in terms of sound quality. They all sound good. Uh, do check the videos out for sound quality. But what a lot of them don't talk about, I find, is the logistical preparations for it, the things behind it. Like, for example, <clears throat> um, if you have been researching this to get uh, these mics to get for your home studio production, um, you'll probably be asking this question. Should I get USB mics or should I get XLR based mics? Okay, for those of you who don't know what XLR is, uh, XLR is basically the traditional microphone uh, connectors. So the, they look something like that. These are the three pin connectors. So this end goes into your microphone, like mine. Mine is a XLR version of the AT2020. And this goes into your mic preamplifier or your mixer, depending on how it is set up. Now, first of all, we have to split the microphones into two types. Like I said, USB microphones and non-USB microphones or XLR-based microphones. So let's talk about the pros and cons straight away okay the advantage of USB microphones is that of course you can plug it straight away into your computer and most of them like the uh, like this two okay the Blue Yeti and the Pro they have built-in mic preamplifiers and they have their own built-in sound processing circuitry inside so the advantage of USB uh, based systems tend to be that they are an all-in-one package. It's very convenient, it is very compact. Um, if you are a uh, travel blogger or if you find yourself needing to move around a lot with your laptop and you don't want to carry around a lot of equipment, the Blue Yeti, you know, solutions like the Blue Yeti and the Blue Yeti Pro are very good for you because they are compact. You only need to plug in one cable which is the USB cable and you're good to go and more often than not you get sound quality that's more than enough for the average uh, you, uh, you up, up and coming YouTuber. Now why would you pick an XLR setup? Like, uh, like the Blue Yeti Pro you can do both, you can do either or, you can uh, have it connect directly as a USB uh, microphone or you can connect it via the connector which I showed you the XLR connector into more professional uh, sound processing equipment or like the AT2020 which I have where you can choose either the USB version or the XLR version which I have um, if this is a pre-configured computer this is a DIY computer alright so because uh, you can't just use this off the bat except for the Blue Yeti Pro because it is a package in itself already. It is also a USB mic as well. But for like the AT2020 AT XLR version, uh, you can't just use it like that. It needs a 48 volt phantom power. You need to plug it into a mixer or a mic preamplifier to amplify the signals from it. And uh, yeah, so from here, you know, uh, it is a totally different setup. You might say that it is a slightly prof more professional setup um, But it is definitely more flexible and um, Like this is one of the reasons why I created this video because if you go to some audio forums There are people rooting for this and then there are people saying uh, you know Yeah, it's more than enough for the average person, but there are people who say that the USB microphones sucks full stop and then they recommend people to get uh, set up like this with an SLR and a mic preamplifier and whatnot, but really at the end of the day it depends on what you need, what you want and where you want to be. Okay, so uh, yeah, so uh, as I was saying that with the XLR side you get to choose everything. You have more dedicated equipment for each uh, process, like you have a dedicated mic and then you most likely have a dedicated 
microphone preamplifier, which a lot of people say that it is v one of the most important steps to creating very good sounding uh, sound from the microphone. And then you can plug it into the mixer, which you can then mix uh, signals from other sources coming in. Or you can just, like for in my case, um, this is a new setup for me. I'm going to plug this straight into a mic preamp, which goes straight into my computer. Right? So, uh, the advantage. Let's talk about the pros and cons of each. Okay, let's talk about the cons first. The cons of the USB system is that it is uh, not flexible. You are stuck with this. So let's say if you want, if you bought the Blue Yeti, okay, and you decide, hey, I want something better. You can't. You have to get a whole new setup. You have to get, uh, you can't just buy the individual components inside and change it yourself. This is it. Okay, similar to the Blue Yeti Pro, but at least the Blue Yeti has the XLR port with which you can uh, connect to equipment which we will talk about later but yeah so that's the main problem with uh, uh, USB, USB microphones they are an all-in-one package but that's it it's very hard to improve on it and um, the disadvantage of XLR setups is that it is slightly more complicated a little bit a little bit more technical and um, it's a little bit more unwieldy you know like again let's talk about my own setup I have this mic then I need a cable running to a preamplifier which will then run to my computer so if you travel a lot and you don't want to carry a lot of things around you might find that it is a little bit of a hassle right so more of an inconvenience and sometimes buying multiple components adds up the cost so cost is a factor that you have to consider all right now let's talk about the pros of each setup the USB setup, very obvious, plug and play. You buy, you take it out of the box, you plug it in, maybe adjust the volume and the type of uh, um, microphone setup. Like in this case, I believe you can choose the direction from which uh, it picks up the sound from and uh, you're off. That's it, you know, it's done, plug and play. And when you travel, pull out one wire, coil it, put it, throw it into a bag and off you go. Very easy. Whereas for the uh, XLR setup, what you have is um, a lot of control, a lot of flexibility, and many people will argue uh, overall superior quality, even for the same amount of money. So, uh, because, I mean, obviously, like I said, you are able to choose the dedicated components that you want. So you choose the mic that you want, you choose the preamp, uh, mic preamplifiers uh, that you prefer, you choose the cables that you like, and then uh, you choose the other equipments like the mixer and maybe another round of amplifiers or compressors which you like, and then, uh, it, then it goes into the source. So you have a lot of control, you, have, you can do a lot of sound engineering uh, to, to um, how do you say, to uh, improve your production be it a YouTube video or a podcast and um, it's very flexible because it's easy to upgrade you don't you don't want the mic preamp anymore change the mic preamp you want to get a better mic get a better mic you, you get what I'm trying to say you don't have to change the whole setup just because one component is different right so uh, I guess that is it for now so I hope that uh, with you guys found this video useful uh, because I find that a lot of people they just tend to stick to the, just the sound quality and then they forget about uh, the mid to long term uh, uh, log logistical things that they may have to think about, right? So uh, it's a, it's, a, it's been a big learning process for me as well. Uh, so I hope that with my I made a lot of mistakes. I wasted a lot of money and uh, I hope that with this experience it will be able to help you move forward to um, Decide you know for example like some people they might think okay uh, the Blue Yeti Pro costs twice as much as the uh, Blue Yeti itself and some people might argue that the even though this records and slightly you know they were giving a higher uh, recording sampling rate might not be worth the cost but because this is an XLR mic as well so you know it is slightly more expendable you can connect it to professional equipment 
and some people uh, might find that very useful so again like i said i hope you found this video useful uh do like and subscribe uh if you have if you want to support this channel you please use the links provided in the description below i'll be providing the links from amazon for each of these products uh, it would be very nice of you to use those links to make a purchase. It will go a long way in supporting this channel. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Drop a comment in the comment sections or send me a PM. And uh, feel free to communicate with me in any way you want. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.